In this video, we'll see how to configure the NRF24 module with the MSP4 under than 30 microcontroller as a receiver. You can see the connections between the microcontroller unit and the transceiver here. If you watched the previous video in which we showed how to configure it as a transmitter, you'll realize that the connections are the same. If you haven't watched it, the link is in the video description below and in the video card shown above. If you take a look at the transmitter module, you can see that it's consisted of an Arduino Nano, an NRF24 module as in the receiver, and seven different MQCDs gas sensors connected to the analog inputs of Arduino Nano. And you can see that two 5 volt USB outputs from the power bank is supplying to the Arduino Nano and the sensor array separately. And here is the 100 microfarad capacitor between the 3.3 volt VCC and the ground. You can see the details and the code of this transmitter in my wireless gas sensor network note video. Actually, you don't need to have gas sensors to send data. Any eight element integer will be fine. Now let's open Code Composer Studio and enter our code for the MSP430. First, let's create a new project and give it a name. Here we are seeing MSP430 NRF RX module. Once we click on finish, CCS is going to create the necessary files and will display the main.c file. Now we will go to my GitHub page and to the NRF24 MSP430 repository and there we will use the receiver underscore main.c file because the previous main.c file here prepared for our transmitter video. And we will select the whole file here, copy it and paste it to our main.c file in the Code Composer Studio right here. And we are going to click on save to save it. Then we will go to our project in the project explorer and we are going to right click and choose new header file. And we will name it nrf24.h here. You should use this name to comply with the main.c file and we are going to click on finish. Now we will again go to the repository and get the nrf24.h file. There it is, and we are going to select all, copy and paste it in CCS. Paste it, and we can save it. Now let's connect our launchpad to our laptop. Let's connect it, and we can see that it has power on it. We can click on debug to debug and load our code to our microcontroller. And once we see that the resume button is active, we can say that our code is ready to be run on the microcontroller unit. Before doing that, let's open a terminal window to display the serial output from the receiver. This time I'll be using PuTTY, but you can use any serial monitor. And we can check that our MSP430 has been connected to COM5. And we are going to click on Serial, choose COM5. The speed is going to be 19,200 bouts because we set it in main.c like that. And now we can click on Resume. And you don't see anything in the terminal window because we don't have our transmitter on. So we can just push the power on button on the power bank. And after a certain delay, which I had put in the code, we will be able to display the analog output values from the sensors. There we go, we can see them. Let's change the settings in order to see better. Let's increase the font and make it bold. Okay, you can see the values flowing through the putty window. And once we expose some lighter gas on the sensors, you can see that the values are increasing in some columns like first and the seventh one this time, because some sensors are responding to it. And this time, again, only the six sensors. So once we turn the power bank off, you see that we don't receive any values from the transmitter. And once we turn it on again, after that delay, initial delay, we are going to see the values back in our serial monitor.